So, as a mother, now if you've been raw, stay raw. Because you, some of your parents know what raw food babies are like. And yeah, you breastfeed your baby. My claim is for at least six months. I've said this. The, the standard they claim is two years. After two years, they claim you lose lactase in the body, which digests lactose. In other words, you have to have enzymes to break down milk sugars, right? And so the body produces them in a female, uh, uh, in all of us, till about, I, they claim two. But I, I, I see anybody past one starts getting a lot of colicky babies and mucousy babies. You don't want mucousy babies because now you're going to have cold and flu like symptoms. Sinus, bronchial lungs. This is all mucus. Well, what the medical community just said, and this is so many years they should know this, is that there are foods that causes mucus. Thank you, Arnold Laird, but also thank you, all of us, because we've all been playing in this field. There are foods that causes mucus, and you raw foodists can tell because as soon as you have something that causes mucus, you get it. You can feel it. So, those are the foods you don't want to do. And you don't want to feed your baby uh, raw milk. Now, we have our baby's formula. And you guys, we, you know, the problem is it sticks to the nipple too much. I'm trying to get it, so I'm going to really focus on it because this one case is sad. Because when you've got a baby and you take him off breastfeeding in two weeks because you're worried about candida, that's a problem. Now, I don't know what herbs they fed the baby, and we don't know anything about that. We know the house is full of herbs, according to the, uh, the police report, things like this. So the, the, the people on the dad has reached out. Uh, before you, but when you, when you have children, if you have any question how to raise them like that, you really want to call in here, because we have a lot of mamas in here raising their babies raw. And Jennifer started feeding her babies fruit, along with breastfeeding, at three months. Fruit juices and stuff. So you start introducing fruits and fruit juices as three, four, or five months come along. At six months or so, which is my opinion, you can come off of that and go into the fruits and stuff. But you just follow your inner guidance on it. But look again at the chemistry of mother's milk. 7.5% carbohydrates, that's your sugars, carbon, energy, Three, a little over 3%, that's half, a little over 3%, not quite half, lipids. That's your lymphatic system, that's your immune system. Oh, oh I get it now. And 0.9, less than 1% protein, amino acids. Hmm, that's kind of a opposite of what these companies have been making these formulas and stuff. Instead of less than 1% versus 7.5%, they've got almost 20% versus 1%. And you can see that as you acidify anything, what happens? The inflammatory process. Whenever you bring in foreign chemistry, you initiate the inflammatory process. And that is detoxification. And that is a cold and flu-like symptom. Like it or not. If you're a lunger and you're highly congested and they don't know how to, and they've been giving you milk on top of all this, like nursing homes tend to do, you could choke to death and die absolutely without it. Absolutely. And I would understand it 100%. How do you save those people? And they need our expertise to learn how to do that. This world needs our expertise to learn how to save its inhabitants. Holy crap. So, my opinion, again, it's going to be six months to a year breastfeeding. You want to start introducing uh, some fruit juices in about three, four months, five months along there, and some fruits as you go along. You definitely want to be on a high fruit diet. Vegetables are, are, are herbivore food, very difficult. So, in fact, if, if they had this baby on muscles by nature, I've got a lot of good blends. These are super blends. This baby would never be nutritionally deficient. Because when you look, this muscle by nature is so nutritionally packed, it's way too much for an infant. This is, this is, but this is all mostly vegetable matter. I do have some fruits in here, but this is, this is for Mr. Olympia and, and Antoine and the guys that I've been making this for. 
This is for people that are pumping iron or out there building and strengthening, working in gyms. Muscle by nature, you can't get better. I mean, this is how horses and elephants put on their muscles. It isn't by eating protein. And if you're working out and you're eating protein, let me highly recommend you change because you're going to lose your kidneys. And that's where it's all the deaths are. That's where all the problems are. That's where all the tumors are. That's where all the cancers are. Is that the lymphatic system is the kidneys. I've got one here. I created Superfood One. That was my first one, of course, and I like it. But I, I got more fruit and more things in it as I moved to Superfood Two. Then I said, "Oh, I love Superfood Two. And then some people, well, I still love Superfood One. So we kept making Superfood One, and Superfood Two is is my. Uh, I really like that. But then I came out and I go, I want one with more coconut, more fruit, more fruitarianish. So I came out with Superfood Three. Superfood Three is my go-to. I friggin' love Superfood Three. This, this you can do babies, things like this with it. I do have some greens, of course, but as a rule, this is a lot more、uh, younger. But this, this is also senior citizen stuff because this keeps the brain sharp. I mean, you want fruit when you're a senior. You want fruit, berries, and melons. You don't want to sit there eating proteins and milks and dairies because you're going to get you're losing your kidneys rapidly. You're filling your lungs, your bronchi, and your sinuses full of mucus, and therefore you're wondering where you parked the car and what house are you sitting in. But I love the, the Superfood Three blend. I got the, the the fruit blends are costing us out the yin yang. If anyone wanted to start a job out there, start uh, uh, pressing uh, organic fruits and dehydrating them, so we can use them as powders and blends. This high energy by nature is just another high energy.、Uh, uh, it's just all fruit and berries. Energy, high energy, and high energy comes from your fruits and your berries and your melons. Vegetables have a lot of energy, but they're not high energy. You know, I can still eat a salad here and kind of go to sleep talking to you. If I have a bowl of fruit for lunch, I am like this. But、uh, enjoy these blends because I love them. I love power blends, but these are whole food blends. I don't add chemistry into these; are whole food blends and organic. So, you know, everything's whole in it. So, if you want to supplement, but what's some of the problems that we face, not only in ourselves but in our children, right? So, back up and think: What is the human body basically overall? You got basically five little senses, right? What else is it? A food processor. A chemistry processor. The, your liver is a major chemistry chemistry factor. It's not a detoxifying organ. It's a major chemistry factory. It transmutates chemistry. You know, biological transmutations came out. I said that before. The, 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 the scientific world.、Oh, I hate our chemistry world and our scientific world because it is constipated up the butt. Talk about constipation here. Oh my God! Our scientific community has needs a big. Colon、uh, cleansing, because it's just it's just it's stagnant and it doesn't know how to get out of its own mental concepts, judging new discoveries.、And、that's part of the problems. Get where I was going with that, but it's crazy.